afternoon friends it is a beautiful <laughs> praise God a beautiful Sunday afternoon it's almost three o'clock today here in Valdosta Georgia and friends I, I just got a, I got a couple of things I just want to tell you <clears throat> it's a beautiful day beautiful day and we know that the world out there is full of chaos and anxiety but there is still beauty in this world on this earth should I say that God has made you know I've told y'all this before but I just gotta say it again real quick you know, a few years ago, in 2014 and 2015, we had the blood moons. And now here in 2017, we had the total solar eclipse. Went across seven Salem's. We had the Revelation chapter 12 sign. And there's talk about war with Korea almost every day. And we wonder why we're not in heaven. And the reason why we're not in heaven is because God still has a work of reaching lost souls for the kingdom. And that's where we're missing it. That is where I missed it almost my whole life. Because I was busy raising children, working, paying bills, and you know, but 30 years ago, 20 years ago, we were not in the end days like we are now. And I keep saying it over and over and over again. If you're going to do something for God, you better do it now. Because if you don't, then just sit there and let the devil give you all the excuses that you want to listen to. And he will give you all the excuses as to why you can't and why you shouldn't do something to reach a lost soul with the blood of Jesus Christ. I have people who has written me and says, I can't do nothing. I am bedridden or I can't get out of my house. Well, have you ever thought that you might could write letters to somebody, total strangers? Have you ever thought that you could contact pastors in your community and say, can I pray for people? You can pray to God Almighty because the Bible says the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Well, you might say, well, I'm not a man, I'm a woman. Well, that goes with for you too. Whether you are a man or a woman, you're still a man. Like I said, we won't get into that. <laughs> we will one day because I definitely will make another teaching on that. But anyway, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man or woman avails much. You can pray for people. You can pick up your phone and just call somebody. I know you think, oh no, you can't do that. No, that's right, you can't do that. You can't pick up your phone and dial a stranger and say, heaven wants you to know that God loves you. 
Have a blessed day. You might call somebody that is was contemplating killing themselves. Let me tell you, when you move in faith, God will direct your hands. When you operate in faith, God will direct your feet. When you operate by faith in God, God will control you and you don't even know it. Because the Bible also says that it is God. You listen. It is God who gives us the will and the He gives us the will and the power to do those things which are pleasing in His sight. You don't realize that a lot of times God has birthed in you the will to do something. And you think, well, that was just something I thought up. Yeah, it was something you thought up because God made you think it up. Don't you realize, people, that without God, we are nothing but an empty shell? Jesus said, I am divine, and you are the branch. Did you get it? He says, I am divine, and you are the branch. And without me, you can do nothing. <laughs> Praise God. Without Jesus, you can do nothing. People will say, oh, you know, I preached a good sermon today. No, you didn't. God through you preached a good sermon. You'll hear people say, boy, I got a lot done today. No, you didn't. God through you got a lot done today. Because God is divine and you are the branch. And you got to remember that. The very breath you breathe in your lungs, God owns your breath. He does. The reason that you are living this day. Because God has a purpose for you. And you haven't done anything to bring death to yourself. There's people out there today will do something so stupid and it will kill them. They might get drunk, try to drive, get in a wreck. It ain't that God killed them. They just did something and they violated the laws. The Bible plainly says whatever you sow, you're going to reap. You stick your finger in an electrical socket. Don't get surprised if you get electrocuted. If you're riding that skateboard, jumping over boards or, or whatever, and you fall and break your wrist or your hand, don't blame God for it. That was your decision to do them crazy stunts. I tell my wife all the time, do you notice that people that are on some kind of a wheel, whether it's a bicycle, uh, roller blades, roller skates, skateboards, they're doing something, they're going to get hurt. People that jump on a trampoline, oh my Lord, if you can jump on a trampoline and do flips and walk off of that thing without a broke neck, broke wrist, and flip off of it, praise God, you were one lucky soul. But let me tell you this. Why isn't the rapture happened today? Because God has a work for us to do to get people saved. Now, I spoke at length with the couple who are in charge of the media outreach and I want you to know, this is, this is a ministry update. They have a disc, DVD disc multiplier or, or whatever you call it. And they can just produce DVDs extremely fast. They are in contact with Amazon 
and we're going to have our DVDs on Amazon where you can <laughs> look up Amazon and order you a copy of Faith in the Word DVD. They are taking care of that because they are the president and vice president of media outreach. Now you think that's funny sounding, but they are. Because there's coming a time, I believe, that it's going to get to a point where the, even they're going to need help. But let me tell you what, what we've talked about. And we've already got this ready to go. We are looking for people, and that means you. We're looking for people all over this world who wants to be part of getting the message of the gospel from this ministry out to a lost and dying world. So, we've already got the 800 number set up. It's 800 567 5729. And like I say, if you say that about three or four times, you got it memorized. 800 567 5729. 567 5729. Call me if you want to be part of the outreach of this ministry, Million for Christ. Faith in the Word Outreach through DVD Ministry, where we are going to share the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we need people. We need we need y'all in Texas, Hawaii, Florida, Georgia, Connecticut, Washington. California, all over. We need people all over America and even in Australia, Russia, China, Canada. Of course, it's going to cost us more money to get the DVDs to you. We might can work it out where, you know, you'll just electronically download it and we'll just ship you the information or what you need but we'll work out all that later you can email me at faith in the word at yahoo.com or dial me and leave a message on my 800 number now listen I want you to understand this the Bible plainly says that a worker is worthy of his hire. In other words, a worker is worthy of his pay. So we're going to have this will you, where you will be able to make a little bit of extra money helping us in this ministry. You're not going to get rich, but I guarantee you, you'll be able to make extra money to pay for gas, for some food, and plus, you're going to be blessing people with uh, by doing this. So, I don't expect you to do this free of charge. And if you do, God bless you. But I don't expect you to do it free of charge. Because I'm going to tell you something. That's what's wrong with the church now. The church, which is supposed to be blessing people, the church of... The body of Christ is supposed to be bringing the kingdom of God to this lost and dying world. We expect everybody to give us something when we need to be giving out to this lost and dying world. We got it back or backwards. We're to be givers, not takers. We're to give and it should be given unto you again pressed down, shaken together, and running over. And the Word of God says, whatever good thing you do for another, the same you shall receive from the Lord. The Lord is a giver, not a taker. He gives love. He gives life. He gives you health. He gives you breath. God gives, not takes. See, it's the devil who is the thief 
Jesus says, I have come to give you life and to give it to you more abundantly. He says, the thief comes to steal and to kill and to destroy. So friends, we who have life in us, we who have the love of God in us should be given this away. You give your love away. You give your life away. The life of God I'm talking about. I ain't talking about going off and letting somebody kill you. I'm talking about give the life, the eternal life that's in you, give that to a lost and dying soul. That we are here to bless people, not to be blessed. We're to be a blessing. And that's what's wrong with this preaching of faith and prosperity. You know, we think that, oh God, God's supposed to be blessing us. Friend, God blesses us that we can bless the world. But what do we do? Oh, we take God's blessings and hoard it all to ourselves. God, thank you for blessing me with that job. I'm making five times more money than I ever made before. And I'm going to keep it all to myself. All these blessings are mine. Thank you, God. And all the while, the Lord is probably shaking his head. He just don't get it. He don't get it. He's like the man with the barns. He tore down the little barns to build bigger barns and he was not, he didn't have a giving heart to the poor. And Jesus called him, you fool! You fool, today your soul's going to be required of you. That's why I say we can't, we got to stop being stingy Christians. We got to take the blessings from God and pass them on to this lost and dying world. That's what's wrong with this world now. This world is starved from the blessings of God. This, you know, why wouldn't these atheists be atheists? Because all the Christians have done is showed the atheists that God don't give a crap about them because all the Christians are keeping God's blessings to themselves. If the body of Christ would do what God wants them to do, give, 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 give. Give money to the atheists that are in need. Give love to the atheists that are in need. Bring salvation and words of encouragement to the atheist instead of telling the atheist you're going to go to hell you're going to go to hell you're going to go to hell well friend i got news for you there's going to be a lot of people who thinks that they're christians they're going to go to hell too because they don't forgive they don't walk in forgiveness they don't forgive and Jesus plainly said, if you don't forgive others their trespasses, neither will the Father forgive you your trespasses. Friend, it's time we start walking in the truth of God's Word and quit cherry-picking the little, little verses we, we like. I'm telling you, we better get straight. And that's another reason possibly why Jesus hasn't came back yet. Because we are supposed to grow up into the fullness of the stature of Jesus Christ. And what are we doing? Just down here being a bunch of stingy Christians caring all about ourselves and not caring about nobody else. Lord Jesus, Open our eyes is all I can say, Lord Jesus. Open our eyes and open our understanding. God bless you. I mean that. God bless you.